last time I talked all about irrigation and how much water your grass needs to thrive all season long. In today's video, we're going to put this to practice and I'm going to show you exactly how I water my yard. So let's get out of the weeds. Thank you guys for coming back for yet another video. If you guys like these videos, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. So in last week's video, I talked all about how your lawn needs between one inch to one and a half inches each week of water to stay green throughout the entire season. And so what I wanted to show you guys today is exactly how to set up your irrigation schedule and how to figure out exactly how long you should run your sprinkler or your irrigation system on each section of your lawn. And so the first thing you wanna do is you want to break up your lawn into specific sections that you want to water. So for example, as I'll show you here, kind of an overview of my lawn, it's actually broken up into seven sections or what we call zones uh, for my sprinkler system. So now if you don't have a sprinkler system, you can just kind of create your own zones for how many times you're gonna to have to move your sprinkler. Each time you move your sprinkler, just consider that a different zone. Um, and so that way you're covering all the different sections of your yard. And so you can see here, as you look at my yard, the zones go all the way through out the different sections of my house covering it. And so what I wanted to do today is to give you guys just a nice easy way that you can figure out how long you need to run your sprinkler or your irrigation system in each section of your yard uh, to properly get that half inch of water each time you put down your irrigation. Once you figure out each of your zones or sections of your lawn that you're gonna be watering, it's time to get some rain gauges. You can either go and pick up these for just a couple dollars at hardware stores. There'll be a rain gauge and you can easily see the measurements. Or like I have here, you can get tuna cans or just different cups that you can measure and mark at a half inch, which you see there, um, to be able to put around those zones. And so right here, I have four uh, containers here that I'm gonna to use to measure the zone uh, to see exactly um, how much water they're getting in different sections. And so what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go and start taking and spreading these out throughout the section that you're gonna be watering first. And so the zone that I wanna do the test on today is actually gonna be my front yard. And so you can see it's just this kind of uh, little patch here. Um, and so what you wanna do is once you have your containers, you wanna start setting them out all throughout the zone uh, spread out uh, so that way you can measure to see exactly how much water you're getting uh, in each section of it. Okay, and so now you can see here in the zone I have all of my containers set out. So I got one there. Walk around over here. You can see I got another one there just like smack dab in the middle. I got one up over here on the front right. And then I got one all the way back here in the corner just so I can try to get an accurate uh, measurement of how well this section is getting covered. So now once you have your containers all set out throughout the area that you wanna measure, it's time to run your sprinklers uh, to go and see how long it takes to get that half inch. And so what I recommend you doing is just either set your irrigation zone for 20 minutes or just time it with a sprinkler. If you don't have an irrigation system, just run, leave your sprinkler out for 20 minutes and let it run on the area that you wanna cover. And then after that 20 minutes is up, we can go and check each of the containers to see how close we are to that half inch of water that we're looking for. That zone is starting to run here. I'm actually getting a little bit wet. I'm in the firing zone but you can see the sprinklers popped up and they're running. So you just wanna let them go now for 20 minutes and then we'll check and see how full each of the containers is after that time. And so I'm out here, uh, the 20 minutes is just about to end. Um, any second now my sprinkler should be stopping. There it was. Um, and so now it's time to check, see how much uh, water each of the containers got. And so you can see here coming up on the first one, it got just under that half an inch there. Um, of water so about halfway there to an inch so we got about a quarter of an inch of water this one here smack dab in the middle 
and you can see this one's right just under a half inch, barely under. What I would have to do is I know now from that test that 20 minutes isn't quite long enough uh, to get that half inch of water. And so what I need to do is actually go just a little bit longer. Now, most of my containers there were just under the half inch. And so now for me looking at that, I don't want to necessarily double my time because if I double my time, go to 40 minutes, I would get way over that half inch because most of my containers there were right just under that half inch mark. And so what I will do is now for me to get that perfect half inch mark, I'm going to just go and add maybe 10 minutes onto that and go up to that 25 to 30 minute mark. Um, and then that way that'll secure my half inch of water each time I run that zone there. After you complete that one section and you know how long you're going to have to go uh, to get that half inch, you need to then go and do it to all the other sections of your lawn. So that way each time you're going to water, you know exactly how long each section of your lawn needs water. Now, if you run that 20 minutes and you get right to the half inch mark, then you're good. You know it's 20 minutes. If you run it for 20 minutes and you see it's way over that, maybe you need to cut it down to 10 or 15 minutes. So just use that 20 minutes as a starting point and then gauge whether you need to run it a little bit longer or a little bit less to get that perfect uh, amount of time. So for most of the season, you want to stick to your watering schedule to be around three times a week. And so if you have an irrigation system and you can just set it up on a controller, just pick three days. I would just spread it out evenly throughout the week and just have it run on those three days. And so then you can adjust, if you get a lot of rain, you can make sure it skips a day or whatever, not run it a day and then wait a few days and run it again. Um, but you wanna try to get to where you're running it about three times a week. And you can cut it down to where you're maybe only having to run it two times a week if you're getting a lot of rain or maybe once a week um, if you're getting a, a, a whole lot of rain. And so just kind of gauge it off what the weather's doing uh, and adjust accordingly to that. Now, once we get into the summer months to where we might go a week or two without really getting much rain at all, you're really gonna to have to stick to a good irrigation schedule if you wanna keep your grass green throughout the summer. Um, and so just know that as we get further along into the year, you're gonna to have to be more consistent with watering. But if you have it set up to where you know exactly how long you need to run your sprinklers, you can always get down the perfect amount of water each and every time. And so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time when we get out of the weeds into a beautiful lawn.